Hey guys, Tom here with another unboxing video. Today we are unboxing the new Motorola Droid Razor. This is Verizon's flagship phone as of late November, early December of 2011. So we are going to go ahead and open it up and see what it's inside. The uh, box that the Razor comes in is a nice, um, has a nice satiny feel to it. It's got the uh, little droid, um, droid symbol here on the front. Um, just says Verizon and Motorola on the side here and then also on this side and um, I'm just giving you some basic specification basic details about the phone on the uh, back side so this just slides out this is a little slip cover here put that to the side and so right there it says Joyd Razor um, and so when this just comes off So now we're inside the box. So right there is the Droid Razor. So we're going to pull this out and set that to the side for now. And see what see what else is inside the box. Once again, saying Droid Droid Razor by Motorola. So right here we have our uh, USB cable it goes from. Uh, standard USB, uh, standard USB on this end going to a uh, USB uh, uh, size on that end for plugging into the razor. Um, here is an AC wall adapter. Oh, this is nice. So let me open this up. <clears throat> so the AC wall adapter actually has not one but two uh, USB sockets. So uh, by plugging this in, you could actually charge two USB devices, which is nice because everything seems to be having uh, being charged by USB. So this would save you from wasting two um, AC wall outlets. Um, just a little uh, product guide here. It looks like uh, teaching you about some of the smartphone features and tips and. Uh, anything from applications to ringtones to pictures and all that fun stuff um, there's here's just some basic consumer information um, some more important consumer information then your product safety and warranty guides so you've got that stuff alright so now let's take a actual look at the phone itself uh, there it is the Joy Razor um, it's got looks like it's got protective coverings on all um, sides of it, so let's just go ahead and peel this stuff off. Okay, so here's the phone, the Motorola Droid Razor for Verizon. Uh, we're just going to go ahead and go over what we have uh, on the device. So, um, the first thing you notice is this nice large touch screen. It's got a, um, in fact, it is a 4.3 inch touch screen display. Um, on the front cover, you have um, your basic uh, buttons for menu. Um, home, back, and search. Of course, the Verizon logo with your speaker also located down towards the bottom. Up towards the top here, we have the Motorola logo with your. Um, oh, excuse me. This was the microphone. This is the speaker. Um, and of course, your front-facing um, camera. Um, mostly a couple light sensors here. And on the top of the device, we have your headphone jack. A, the USB port as well as a mini HDMI port. On the side here you've got your uh, power button as well as your volume rocker. Nothing on the bottom side here. And then on the left side nothing except for a um, access cover to access your um, SIM card slot as well as your um, micro SD slot. The Droid Razor comes with a 16 gigabyte um, card already installed. So there that is, 16 gigabyte um, micro SD card.
And then on the back side, we have, um, this is something uh, unique to the Droid Razor. It's actually Kevlar in the back. Um, you have a uh, area microphone here. Um, the big, the large speaker for the ringer and speakerphone, LED flash, as well as the camera lens. So I'm just going to quickly go over the specifications for the phone. Uh, it is actually 7.1 millimeters thin, which is about 0.28 inches, uh, this, making this basically the thinnest smartphone on the market. Um, it has Corning Gorilla glass on the front, so it's very scratch resistant. I already mentioned how it has nice Kevlar backing, very, dur very durable. Um, the only bad side to having a Kevlar backing is that you don't have a removable battery cover, but the Kevlar sure does make it nice. It has a nice feel to it. It feels almost like the um, satin, the satiny feel on the uh, box. It's kind of how the Kevlar feels. So it's got the Kevlar backing, uh, features diamond cut aluminum, so all the materials in the phone is very nice. Uh, it has, also has a nano coating making the phone water repellent. It's not waterproof, you're not going to want to dunk this in a pool or anything, but uh, for minor splashes, uh, Motorola says the phone should, should survive with this nano coating, so that's a nice little feature. Um, I'm actually kind of surprised uh, how much it weighs. It's only about four and a half ounces, so it, it has a nice light weight to it. it I don't think it's going to weigh, uh, weigh your pockets down or weigh you down too much. Um, Really, for the size of the device, I was expecting it to weigh more, but I'm, I'm glad it, uh, it's only about four and a half ounces. It, of course, has your CDMA uh, LTE 4G enabled uh, radios. also has Bluetooth 2.1 as well as 802.11 BGN Wi Fi radio. Uh, right now, the device comes with Android 2.3 Gingerbread. However, Motorola says that the device will be upgradable to Android 4.0 Ice Cream Sandwich in early 2012. Uh, as I said before, it has a 4.3 inch diagonal capacitive multi touch display. The resolution is 540 by 960 pixels, and it is um, a super AMOLED display, so you're going to get in very nice contrast uh, ratios. Uh, look, should look very nice outside. Um, despite the thinness of the phone, uh, Motorola is able to cram in a uh, 1,780 milliamp hour uh, battery, so it's a fairly, uh, fairly uh, l large battery for the size of the phone. Um, Motorola says you should be averaging about 12 and a half hours of talk time. Um, in real world usage, um, probably only going to see maybe like five or six hours of um, uh, using the device, maybe for video purposes or some type of gaming. Uh, so, uh, some of some of the specifications for the internals: you're looking at a dual core TI OMAP 4430 processor running at 1.2 gigahertz. It has 1,024 megabytes of RAM installed. <clears throat> As I mentioned before, it, has, it comes with a 16 gigabyte SD card, micro SD card, uh, already installed for you. Um, the port is able to uh, support 32 gigabyte cards. So if you wanted to buy a 32 gigabyte micro SD card, you can certainly certainly put that in. And um, of course, your rear camera. It's an 8 megapixel uh, rear camera, able to shoot 1080p video at 30 frames per second, or you can downgrade that to 480. Um, resolution, uh, which is DVD resolution, and they say you're able to get up 120 frames per second with that. The front camera is only a 1.3 megapixel camera, but that should be enough for any use for the front camera. So that's been a uh, look at an unboxing and as well as a first look at the Motorola Droid Razor. Thanks for watching.